Hi everyone, it's Carly Spina and I wanted to share with you one really, really easy tool for all of us to use um, so that we can make instant translations that are powered by Canva. So if we go over and click on create design, or if I just come over here, I love creating those like quick social media posts uh, that are free. Um, so if I come over here and I kind of scroll across, these are all Instagram size ones. These are all Facebook size ones that also work really nicely for Twitter. But these are fantastic also just for creating like a quick flyer. So even though it says social media post, I like to use these for flyers. So I might come over here and just type in free um, well, it gives me a whole bunch that say the word free in it. Um, but if I were to take any one of these tools here to um, design like a flyer to let folks know in my school that tryouts are coming up or we're going to have a new club meeting or something like that. So maybe I'll click this one because it's like fall related and it didn't have a little crown that says it's like, you know, uh, <laughs> like a one that you have to pay money for. So I might say, um, cheer tryouts and I can change out, right? Like the size and all of that. I can change up the font because this, while it looks really pretty, it might not be easy for students to read. So I'm going to go ahead and make that a little bit smaller. So maybe I come down to like, okay. Um, and then I say like Tuesday, October 31st. So I don't imagine anyone is doing like a cheer trial on um, Halloween, but you never know. I'm going to try a few of these to see just what is like super easy to read. Again, I want to make sure that the font is inclusive for all of my students. So and then here I would say something like about the details like meet in the gym. Uh, meet in the North Gym at 3.30 p.m. If you have questions, uh, please contact Coach Spina. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and make that a little bit bigger so you can actually see it. Okay. And no, I'm no longer coaching cheer. <laughs> that was That was a previous lifetime, you guys. Okay, so I have that all set up. I've got that done, right? Just a quick, easy thing. So now what I get to do is over here on the side, I've got all of these different tools. And if I scroll down to where it says apps, um, a new little thing will pop up and I scroll down on here and then take a look, take a look. This is the translate button. Okay, this is amazing, you guys. Okay, so I just click over here and select my language. Uh, this is super, super important because we wanna make sure that we're providing all students, including our newcomer students, in opportunities to participate in extracurricular activities. Um, so if I wanted to do this one in Spanish, uh, because I know a lot of us have uh, Spanish speaking newcomer students, take a look at what it just did. So I took my original and then it took my, um, uh, what do you call it? Uh, my translation. So now what I do is just I just kind of resize it a little bit. Um, 31 de octubre. So maybe I make this just a little bit smaller. So all I have to do, right, is just kind of edit it um, and then make it kind of fit my style, whatever I needed. Um, and then do you notice, so like in, in Espanol, if I just put cheer tryouts, maybe I need to say cheerleading tryouts because cheer, right, if we're literally translating it, it might mean something else. So I'm going to try this again. All right, so now I'm going to take this one. Again, I'm going to go over here. I'll click on Spanish and I'll click translate. And now let's see what it does. Okay, pruebas de puristas. Okay, that's better, right? Purista es la, la palabra que quiero. Um, and then, again, if I need to translate, again, I'll, I'd have to go in and fix the sizes of everything like that. Um, but if I also wanted to make sure that I included all of my... Uh, Ukrainian newcomers, right? I would just hit that magic button again and same thing. Uh, and it's nice because it has it labeled for me. Um, so it's got my page one, it's got my page two, it's got my page three. And again, if I were to hover here, it would tell me that that is the Ukrainian translation. So it doesn't like erase my English one. Um, but it just keeps on building. So this is a great tool to share with anyone who is doing like a 
if you are a club sponsor or if you are a coach or whatever, now you have all of these flyers. And again, you just change up the sizing, make it fit and all that stuff. Um, but it translates everything for you. Uh, so this is a great way to make sure that our newcomer students know about different events that are happening. Uh, and again, you might also want to enhance this with some like great graphics that show what actually this is because in our students' uh, heritage home countries, they might not have had this sport. Uh, so they might be like, I don't know what this means. So I might include some graphics because here are like all of the pumpkins and stuff that doesn't really show me what cheerleading is. Uh, so I might choose a different uh, thing, right? Uh, but this is a great helpful tool. So I hope this helps you. This is a great video to share and show uh, to club sponsors and uh, sports coaches in your school just to make our, um, our opportunities more accessible to all multilingual students.